Hello friends, welcome back to a new video that is MCQs on Medical Microbiology and this is the part 4 of this series of videos on Medical Microbiology. So the first question is question number 61 that is, that is the term prion refers to option A proteinaceous material, option B vitamins, option C lipids, option D all of the above. So the right answer about the term prion is option B. A that is proteinaceous material okay let's move on to question number 62 that is prion diseases are fatal in most of the cases option A true option B false and the right one is option A this it is true that prion diseases are fatal in most of the cases and this prion disease are rare fatal brain disease that are transmissible and untreatable so they are caused by misfolded prion proteins in the brain okay so let's move on to question number 63 that is prion agents can be inactivated by option a bleach and autoclaving option b chlorine water option c uv rays option d none of this and the right one is option a that is bleach and autoclaving so prion agents can be inactivated by bleach and autoclaving okay so let's move on to question number 64 that is which is used to amplify extremely small amount of specific dna present in a clinical specimen and the options are option a rna option b pcr option c dna option d 16s rrna and the right answer is option b that is PCR that is polymerase chain reaction which is responsible to amplify extremely small amount of specific DNA present in a clinical specimen okay so let's move on to question number 65 that is dash is an amplification system different from PCR and the options are option A LRC option B LCR option C RNA option D PCR and the right answer is option B that is LCR is a amplification technique different from PCR. So what is this LCR technique? This LCR means the ligase chain reaction and this ligase chain reaction is a DNA amplification process that is similar to polymerase chain reaction. However, LCR amplifies a short DNA probe while PCR amplifies a segment of DNA and this LCR uses a thermostable ligase to join two probes or other molecules together. This can then be amplified by standard PCR cycling. Okay, And this LCR is useful when scientists need to identify mutations of one base pair in DNA strand. Okay, So this is the use of LCR or ligase chain reaction. Okay, so let's move on to question number 66. That is, DASH is a technology used to analyze proteins or DNA has revolution, uh, revolutionized the approach to microbial identification in clinical laboratories. So, which technology is used to analyze protein or DNA? So, that is option A mass spectrometry. Option B, minimal inhibitory concentration. Option C, diffusion susceptibility. Option D, oxalin. oxacillin. And the right answer is option A. It is mass spectrometry is used to analyze protein or DNA. Okay. So let's move on to question number 67. That is, the meningitis has the specimen. Option A, CSF. That is, cerebrospinal fluid. Option B, uh, uh, secretions option C biopsy specimen or option D none of them so meningitis is related to which that is option A that is cerebrospinal fluid okay so meningitis which is a brain or a spinal cord <coughs> infection disease that is related to CSF okay cerebrospinal fluid so let's move on to question number 68 that is the whooping cough Pneumonia has swab of option A sputum, option B pus, option C bordetella pertussis, option D none of this. And the right answer is option A that is sputum. So a whooping cough pneumonia 
has swerve of sputum so sputum is a sputum is a mixture of saliva and mucus coughed coughed up from the respiratory tract the body produces sputum to protect the sensitive tissue in the airway of the lung okay so let's move on to question number 69 that is dash is used to amplify extremely small amount of specific dna present and options are option a pcr option b mcr option c ms that is mass spectro option d none of this and the right answer is option a that is pcr so pcr is used to amplify extremely small amount of specific dna present this is a repeat i guess so let's move on to question number 70 that is dash is an example for hybridization test format and the options are option a gene proof test option b uh, <coughs> ms test that is <coughs> mass spectro test or option c pcr test option d none of the above so the right one is option a that is gene proof test so gene proof test is an example for hybridization test okay so the next one is 71 the whipple disease is caused by option a trophima whipple or option b chain reaction option c pcr option d none of the above and the right one is option a that is trophima whipple and whipple's disease is a rare bacterial infection that affects the small intestine and nervous system okay so let's move on to question number 72 that is dash is used to analyze protein or dna and the options are option a mass spectrometry option b minimal inhibitory concentration option c microbial benefaction microbial infection uh, i guess and option d none of this and the right one is option a that is mass spectro this is also a repeat question sorry for this so mass spectrometry is used to analyze protein or dna so let's move on to question number 73 that is dash are considered as pathogens wherever they are found in patients specimen and options are option a mycobacterium tuberculosis option b salmonella typhi option c both a and b option d none of this and the right one is option c that is both a and b is the right one so Mycobacterium tuberculosis and Salmonella typhi are considered as pathogens whenever they are found in patient specimen. Okay. Let's move on to question number 74. For which of the following diseases combined passive and active immunization is often undertaken? And the options are option A tetanus, option B diphtheria, option C rabies, option D all of them. And the right one is option D means all of the above so for which of the following disease combined passive and active immunization is often undertaken that is tetanus diphtheria and rabies okay so let's move on to question number 75 that is which of the following disease has have remained without useful vaccines and the options are option a malaria option b leprosy option c aids option d all of the above and the right one is option d that is all of the above so which of the following disease has have remained without useful vaccines that is malaria leprosy and aids okay that is all of the above that is option d is the right one so let's move on to question number 76 that is that dash is a small number and is commonly part of normal microbial microbiota so that is option a yeast option b microbes option c both a and b option d none of this and the right one is option a that is yeast yeast is a yeast is uh, present in small number and is commonly part of a normal microbial microbiota okay so let's move on to question number 77 the antimicrobial drug used initially in the treatment of option a infection option b pus option b diff lesions option d none of this and the right one is option a that is infection so the antimicrobial drug used initially in the treatment of infection and next one is 78 so 
instead of disk test for antimicrobial activity dash can be used option a mic option c mass spectro option b lcr option d diffusion susceptibility and the right one is option a that is mic or minimal inhibitory concentration so instead of disk test for antimicrobial activity mic can be used okay and this minimal inhibitory concentration that is mic test is used to determine the lowest concentration of an antimicrobial agent that inhibits the visible growth of a pathogenic bacterium okay so let's move on to question number 79 a uh, reduction of colony forming units by 99.9% below that of the control is option a mbc that is microbial <coughs> uh, that is microbial bac bacteria sorry minimal bactericidal concentration or option b that is minimal inhibitory concentration option c mass spectra option d none of the above and the right one is option a that is MBC that is the minimal bacterial con bactericidal concentration and this minimal bactericidal concentration is the lowest concentration of an antibacterial agent required to kill a bacterium okay so let's move on to the last question of this video that is short throat are uh, due to option a viral infections option b microbes option c bacteria or option d none of this and the right one is option a that is viral infection so short throat are due to viral infections okay so these are all 20 questions for this part 4 video on medical microbiology okay so thank you for watching this video